Good afternoon, everybody. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. It is a scorcher out there today. 37 degrees today. It's beautiful. Um, 80 degrees indoors. The tiny house wood stove is cooking along happily. When it gets warmer outside, it's uh, much warmer inside. Um, gray and cloudy day today, but because it's warm, I'm going to go out and work in the wood shop. I have to clean out the tent so that I can continue working upstairs. Uh, Melanie is on her way eventually and I need to finish the walls of my study and get all this stuff out of here. It still is a construction zone. The problem is I can't get to my wood inside the workshop. That tent that got wind damaged, everything is a jumble and tossed <laughs> I dread going out there and doing it, but I'm going to have to go out there now before I do anything else on the house and organize and sort out that tent. So I will be doing that after I finish my short lunch here and I'll take you with me. Now um, I'm going to also be working upstairs because if you remember I have a bit of a mess now because I emptied the bedroom and everything is storage and tools and equipment and all kinds of stuff. I've got to empty all of this out today after I clean the uh, tent, the wood shop, um, which, well, maybe that'll take the rest of the day, but I've got to clean out the wood shop and then clean out the study and start working up there on those walls. Uh, where I've been today so far is my neighbors had a bit of a self-memorial service for the old man and I was there to record for them privately. So... Um, that's why I've been gone, and um, that's it. So I'm working now. I'm going to get try to get all this going on and get working on this study up here so that we have a place for Melanie when she gets home. My bantam hens fly out, so it's time to catch them and clip their wings. These two have been free for a while now. See if I can do this while holding the camera. <laughs> now I gotta clip her wings. Uh, oops. It's time to clip them all. What you do is you cut. These are beautiful birds. I hate to cut them. You cut uh, just before the, what you call the quick, so they uh, don't bleed. You don't want them to bleed. I probably won't be able to get this on video for you. It's awkward. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't see much of that. It's really hard. I don't have my head camera on because I'm outside to do some other work and I notice these girls are out. And that, just one wing, so they're off balance. And then they can't fly as well. They drop like lead. I've got to go catch the other girl and I'm going to go in and I'm going to clip the rest of them. Because what they're doing is flying right out. They get on top of the chicken coop and fly out. And I don't want to lose them. So, the other girl, she's probably up in the bushes. I think she went in deep. She's not stupid. That was Miss Free Spirit. That was always hiding out in the, uh... Oops, I ran out of my electric fence wire. That's a mess. Miss Free Spirit that it was always hiding... Where'd she go? Well, I don't know where she is. All right, I'm gonna have to track her down and put her away. And uh, I'm gonna be working on the uh, wood shop today. Yeah, I don't know where she went. Oh well, I'll get her later. But I wanna, I'm gonna clip the wings of the rest of them right now. Well. I finished clipping the chickens, and afterwards I realized that would have been a good video moment. But that's why when Melanie's here, it's going to be so good. She'll think of these things and help me grab the camera and record those moments. Now. In order to do any tiny housework, I've got to get the shop fixed. But all my wood is in here. 
All my tools are in here. What a mess. Oh, it was so neat. I hate to have to start over again from scratch. Oh, what a mess. Dog oh. food for the birds. So I'll empty all this. And then what I'll do is rebuild the pallet that held them up. And then uh, reorganize my tent. I've got to fix it and straighten it after I clean this place up. All oh, my chicken feed bags are on top. Yeah, the ropes have been stretched. That was one of those tight on ropes. They've been stretched, but these ropes held. The ropes tying down the other tents didn't hold. Shows me which ones I should buy in the future. If nothing else, I've learned that. Which ropes to use. Oh, my beautiful shop. I think this was the neatest part of my property. far the tent moved here in a minute. Uh, extra dog food I bought. Never opened. Of. I've seen a lot of talk about where is Joy and why I got rid of Joy. Well, uh, there's rumors that I couldn't afford to have a dog, so I had to give her away to somebody who could afford her. Well, that's not true. I've got snacks and dog food all over the place, but no dog. Why? Because I got tired of being turned in to the sheriff and to PETA for animal abuse because I had a dog outside. No more dogs. I just can't, I can't take the uh, stress. Oh, mice are disgusting. Oh, I hate mice. They destroy everything. Uh, the mice this year are the worst I've ever seen. The chipmunks, the squirrels, Everything is the worst I've ever seen. Probably because we had no freeze this year. The freeze is important to nature because it kills. It kills the animals and reduces the population. You don't have a die off, you have an overpopulation. And that is destructive. I'm going to finish cleaning the shop out and then rebuild. This floor was up against here. That cement block bag was tied to the tent. All the supports on this side have been pulled outside the tent and everything has been, well, even this rope was stretched. I had cement blocks tied all the way along here. I had cement bags tied up all the way along here. And it's all been pulled out, ripped out, and untied. I don't know where the rope is to that. So, uh, this has been moved in a bad way. Uh, it was level and on the ground here. So, well, maybe the tent didn't move as much as I thought. I don't know. So, everything's moved.
everything's moved. This whole wall is angled outwards and bent right there pretty badly, so I've got to fix all that. Um, I still have a mess. Ah, oh, that's a mess. All oh, my tools. Oh, my tools. So I've got to work my way to the back, straightening out and cleaning as I go. My shelf is broken, actually. That black shelf has been broken by the wind. I must be hitting nails here because I'm having trouble getting this to go in. Now, I don't know what it is. Is the wood that hard? It went through. Oh, I'm breaking tips. It went in and it stops. It's odd. I'm trying to put supports on here. That's stuck. That's not good. I'm having struggles putting supports on this. Now that I got the camera going, I'm not even getting anything done. Wow, this must be like iron. Oh. I'm gonna have to drill it. This is. That wood is like iron. The screws don't go into it at all. That was insanity. It took me forever to get a couple pieces of wood up on there. Now I gotta get this down and put a brace on here. And put my boards back up. I wonder if I should put a cross brace across the back of these. I can't know that. Sort of. I can't believe those won't go in or out. That piece is useless. I couldn't drive nails in it. It's really tough. forward some as well. This isn't all where it used to be. Now this was up at an angle to keep the boards from falling in my face. Anyone would put one across and then one down. Just for safety. And that'll work. Through there. Yes. That'll help. I'm gonna get some small screws. Be back in a minute. Everything's haphazard and chaotic and taking me longer because all my tools are in there somewhere. Boxes are spilled and screws are on the ground and everything else. So it's a job, but I'll get it done.